So I accidentally deleted this video uh, showing you how to use the, the live link between Substance Painter and Unreal and make it re, um, re-establish the link even if you save the project. That's what we're going to do in this video. It's actually a good opportunity because now I can do a more concise video. Okay, so here in Unreal, I, I'm going to uh, create, well, I'm not even going to create a new folder. I'm just going to import my model into Unreal. So I'll select my model here, do an import, and I get my model and a material associated with it. I have to go to Edit, I have to go to Plugins, I have to enable Substance in UE4, and restart the engine. Once I've done that, it's enabled, and I can go on to the next step. So the next step is right-click, Send to Substance Painter. Say OK. Remove the collision and export. Make sure Substance Painter uh, is opened before you do that. Um, not sure if this is a problem that only happened to me, but it it didn't work because I had Substance Painter closed. Now, if I have Substance Painter open, my model gets into Substance Painter. And tree textures are created inside of Unreal. So we got the tree textures associated with that material and we have uh, our model inside the Substance Painter. So if I now uh, do some changes to my model in the texture, for example, I make it red and I go back into Unreal, my model is now red in Unreal. So the changes will reflect, will reflect automatically. Now, let's say I have a saved Substance uh, file uh, with a different texture. Right, and I don't want to be texturing this again. And before I even do that, I want to say that if I bake this right now, I won't have my ID map because it's the, the model is coming from Unreal, so there's no vertex information. I wouldn't have an ID map if I bake uh, my mesh. So the trick is pretty simple. If you go to Edit Project Configuration and you select your original mesh, and this is the same mesh I imported into Unreal, if I open that up and press OK. Now if I bake my mesh, I'll have my ID maps. And um, now in Unreal, I'll notice that my mesh is white. In Unreal, my mesh hasn't updated yet. OK, uh, so what I can now do to reestablish the connection is send again to Substance Painter. And, and for Substance Painter, I'll send it to Unreal. And now what happened is it created new textures. Now we have uh, duplicate textures, but we have re-established the connection. Now I haven't baked the mesh, I'll have to bake the mesh. So if I do bake my mesh maps here, and I'll use low poly as high poly here. Now I, sh I have an ID map, as you can see that there. I wouldn't, wouldn't have if uh, I was just coming from Unreal. But now I have an ID map and now I can start texturing this in Substance Painter. So if I now add the texture, um, just the color, just to make the red color here again, go back into Unreal, you'll see that it's updating. This allows me to do, using this edit project configuration in uh, bringing down the new mesh, allows me to now open up a, a previous version that I had and so if I open that and I'll discard this. Okay, so this is another version that I used to texture. Okay, and now if I go back into Unreal, right, there it is. That's my saved ver uh, substance um, file with the, the, the texture that I have saved before. So as, as you can see, the trick is really uh, establishing the connection, coming to Edit, Project Configuration, um, reselecting your um, model, the same one that you imported into Unreal, and then you'll get this. You'll get the, uh, a grayed out version, which was the previous version, and that will allow you to open up a saved f uh, substance file with all your normals and curvature and ID and whatever you used for your baking. And then in Unreal, all you need to do is get rid of the, the previous textures, which are these ones. You can see they're all blank. They have nothing, so I can just delete them. And I'll just keep the new ones there from the reestablished link. If I press Ctrl Shift S, I'll save it. And now I can carry on 
and uh, texturing my um, model. So let's change this uh, painted metal to a different color, for example. Or perhaps I'll just do a fill layer here and use a different color here. Whatever, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so as soon as I do that and I come back into Unreal, you can see that the, the connection is still established and I still I can carry on texturing this. One thing to keep in mind is you can go to DCC Live Link Configure and turn off Enable Streaming if Substance Painter is getting too slow. So now any changes that I make here will not reflect in uh, Unreal unless I press this button here. So uh, the um, send all materials to integration and now it will reflect. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and like this little trick. Um, the live link for me uh, wouldn't just wouldn't cut it before I learned this trick uh, because I mean you need to bake materials, you need to do a bunch of stuff, and then bringing the the the, the model into Substance from Unreal, you have to bake everything again. It would be a mess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and let's see you on the next video.